All of these skies were painted with two basic colors, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. The accent colors were added at the end. Using these two colors, you can get a great variety of neutrals. The top two-thirds was painted wet on wet, and the bottom third was painted wet on dry. You can also use a variety of edges, such as uh, blotting uh, dry on dry. A lot can be learned about how to paint watercolors doing these simple studies. Okay, I'm going to record this so we'll have it. So anyway, this is uh, this is this guy in the upper left, and uh, what I think I will do is because you can see my palette, uh, I'm going to uh, use uh, clean water, but I'm going to use uh, burnt sienna. I'm going to energize my paint. I'm going to do uh, something uh, very similar to what we did before, which is this guy. Okay. So that way we won't get hung up. We're talking about a simple sky and we're talking about three colors. So we're killing two birds with one stone, sort of, kind of. Uh, I'm going to uh, wet my, I'm going to use, uh, in this one, I'm going to use burnt sienna, ultramarine, and what's my third color? Monochronium gold. No. I'm, I'm, uh, that's too close to uh, burnt sienna. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'll just use Payne's Gray, so I'll keep it real simple. Yeah, that's what you said, Ultramarine and Payne's Gray. I'm going to use Ultramarine, Payne's Gray, or either that or a Cobalt. I haven't decided. I'm going to use Burnt Sienna, uh, Cobalt, or Ultramarine, and Payne's Gray. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, wet the paper. I'm just going to go down about two-thirds, and I'm going to see if that paper is uh, nice and soppy, uh, wet, and uh, so far it is. And I'm mixing up some uh, burnt sienna, and uh, I'm going to uh, just put some of that uh, down. And it's only going to bleed down to that uh, edge, the bottom. And while that's still wet, I'm going to take some um, ultramarine. And I'm going to come down from the top. That's ultramarine. It looks like. That's ultramarine, and I'm going to let that uh, just drift. And I'm going to take that same uh, burnt sienna, and uh, I'm going to uh, leave a little line here. Leave a little water. And I'm just going to uh, paint the bottom of that. Are you doing that? Is that part on dry paper? Yeah. Yep. The top was on wet, the bottom's on dry.
So while that is drying, I'm going to go next door and I'm going to do the same thing. My burnt sienna, I mean my ultramarine, mixed with the burnt sienna and got very, very dark. Okay. Huh. I mean, yours stayed so clean. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering how you did it. I have uh, uh, no idea except I didn't touch it very much. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the same colors, except I'm going to use them uh, in a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to take some of the uh, burnt sienna and I'm going to mix a little bit of the blue in with it. <laughs> warm. I'm still going to keep it warm, but. I don't have to. Mine's all doing it on the paper. Um, is that dry? Is that on dry paper? No, I would have first. In fact, I'm going to take that same color. I'm using burnt sienna and ultramarine. I'm using the same two colors. Only I'm, this time I'm mixing them together. And that's the same two colors that I mixed together. I'm going to take, take the same two colors and mix them together. And uh, I'm going to go on the, a little slightly on the cooler side. So these are exactly the same uh, two colors. It's a tornado. It is. Ah. Okay, I'm going to change up on you guys again while these are drying. Well, I can't keep up with you, so. I know. I can. I'll give you a couple of minutes. I can keep up. Well, depends. I just finished the first one. <laughs> okay. Did you mix? Now tell. Do again. You wet the top again, just like you did the bot the other one, and then you mix the colors. Exactly the same process. The top is wet on wet, the bottom is wet on dry. Okay. But the colors are mixed. I'm sorry? The colors are mixed. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I uh, started mixing here, it's pure. It only mixed on the paper. Right. That's burnt sienna and that's burnt sienna. And that's just uh, ultramarine. No, I'm asking about the second one. Yes, I mixed the two together. I made it warm bias or cool okay. bias. Okay, okay, gotcha. But that's how I got those colors, is mixing those two together. And uh, for this, uh, for this, uh, Demo, I'm going to reserve my judgment on my third color. I might use a different one for each one of these.
You guys let me know when you're ready for number three. Not yet. Okay. I've learned something already. Good. You can't What's that? Use, you can't use the back of an ugly painting if it's all puckered. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all wavy and all the color goes in the down uh, grooves. Are you guys hearing me okay? That's very interesting. Yes, yes you're hearing me okay? Yes. yes, perfectly. So that's with your new um, microphone that you're wearing? No, I've actually got it clipped uh, uh, on my, uh, on this palette on this camera, which is a foot away. It's closer, it's halfway between my computer and where I'm painting. And I think it's much better, thank you. Okay. I've actually got uh, three mics now. I've got the uh, internal on the computer, the webcam has a mic, and I'm using an external. I think it's a good thing you don't get feedback somehow. Uh, I plugged, uh, I, I tried uh, the mic Friday and everybody could hear me and said, oh, it's fabulous, but I could not hear anybody. <laughs> oh. oh, so that just, yeah. okay, I'm uh, painting the th uh, third little guy down here and I'm okay. going to do what I did up top. By the way, I'm up a cycle along, so no. You're doing the same thing, but two thirds? Yeah, that's the same painting, yes. We're going to go back and re wet these. Okay, thank you. So, right. uh, in this uh, painting, I painted the first one, I painted burnt sienna over everything, right? Yeah. Did you wet the whole paper this third um, time? Uh, once again, yeah. it's two-thirds, one-third. Okay. Uh, I'm painting, uh, I'm painting, instead of using burnt sienna, I'm painting uh, the ultramarine. Okay. I think I got cold. Now I'm going to drop in uh, the uh, uh, burnt sienna. Should have been a little bit drier brush. And let that drift. So I'm doing the opposite of what I did here. Uh huh. I like the way that granulated. Yeah, these are just uh, studies. You can be a little bit more careful when you, uh, if you're doing a real painting, uh, but uh, this is fine for what we're doing. I'm gonna take that uh, fourth one, and do the top, Two thirds wet and leave the bottom dry. And, and then do the opposite of what I did here. It looks like a tornado up there in the right corner. I'm going to do the opposite of what I did uh, top. I painted a warm first 
Uh, so now I'm going to paint a cool first, but I'm neutralizing it. So this is a, a cool gray. You see the difference, big time. So is that a mix of the same two colors, but with a lot more blue? Yes, I yes. I, I biased it on the cool side as opposed to the warm side. Same two colors. And now once again, I'm gonna drop some of the warm biased color, the warm neutral. Uh oh across the top That's going to be the opposite of that one. So now we have to get all those dry. <sighs> that was a big sigh. I know. I mean, bumpy paper doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start in uh, five minutes. All right. Oh, shoot. I'm going to start at 20 after. Is someone sawing outside? Yeah. Okay, I can just faintly hear it. Okay. Do you guys know how to take screenshots? Yes. Not on um, the iPad. So if anybody knows how, if you could tell me. Uh, I don't know on the iPad either. It's probably got to be the same, but you got to have your keyboard up. You can uh, just see it with, uh, you can just take a shot with your phone if you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Remind me how you do it with the phone, because my keypad is attached to the iPad. Well, on your phone, uh, you just put the minus sign on the bottom of the iPad to get rid of the little square where you can see other things. Okay. And just hold up your regular phone in front of the iPad and take a picture. Oh. Getting as much of it in as you can. 
You can just take a picture of the screen. And it comes out fine. And remember, you can make it as big as you want. You can edit it and turn it the right direction you want. Right. All that stuff. And you can email it to yourself and make it bigger eventually. I just wanted you to see this for the reference. Oh, Are you that. going to do that on a big piece of paper, Joe? I'm sorry? Are you going to do this uh, pinkish sky on a big piece of paper? No, this is the sky we're doing right now. I just did the underpainting. And I didn't, oh. I don't care whether it's pink or... Okay, or <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm just okay. looking, I'm just looking at the patterns of the clouds. I'm looking at okay. the that's all I want this for. Because it's pretty simple. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I tried that one. That went right in the trash. Did you guys see in my palette how I was mixing those together? Yes, I can. Yes. It's strange that my, um, my burnt sienna and ultramarine, I get a lot of brown. You don't get brown, you get gray. You guys see this? Yes. Yes. Joe, I forget. Um, do you on your phone? How would I get it into Noton like that? Well, you have to use Notonizer. I have that, and I have Prisma something or other. Uh, you go to your uh, you go to your Notonizer, and it should ask you where the 
pick is that you want to do that to. Probably your camera roll. Do you guys see the difference in these two? One's color and one's not. But there's yes. The, now do you, now does it look simpler? Yes. Okay, you see this? Uh, we've already painted the light gray. We're going to paint the dark gray, and then we're going to paint the dark. Okay. We can go back and add this light stuff by lifting or uh, pastel or paint later. Okay, we're going to paint the dark gray is what you're going to do now. I'm going to paint the dark gray first, and then I'm going to paint the dark over the top of that when it's a little bit drier, but first I'm going to re-wet it. Um, Joe, I'm doing mine over again, and uh, could you tell me what you started with on the lower right corner? I think it was um, it burnt, was sienna, burnt was sienna with a little bit. What did you start with on the lower right corner? Uh, I painted the top, just the opposite no. of this one. I painted the top a blue. First. Lower right corner. Lower right corner. Yes, that yeah. one. That's the yes. that's the same two colors mixed together, and then yeah. I, I painted uh, the, a, a cooler, cool biased, a cool gray, and then I painted a warm gray over the top of that. Okay. All right. The two it's colors gone. more to the cool but side. This, but it's the same thing. Only in the one at the bottom, this is cooler. This is warmer. Right. Got it. Thank you. That's all. Okay, are we going on? Yes. Uh, so here we are, and I'm just going to re wet this quickly and uh, make sure that I'm. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to go to the uh, top left. So I'm just going to re-wet this. Uh, my water's yeah. dirty, but I haven't done a lot with it. I could spray it or I could re-wet it. But I'm going to re-wet it just using uh, my uh, uh, brush. And I'm just going to go across and across and across. And there it is. It's all, it's all re wet -ted. And then I'm going to mix up uh, some uh, gray. Using my two, uh, I'm going burnt sienna, ultramarine. I'm going to mix up uh, some uh, gray color. And I'm going to go right through here. Whoops, that needs to be more paint. So that's uh, too wet on there. Mine's too wet too, so what do we do? Just wait a couple of seconds. Okay. I'm just going to do that. So your voice and cut out a little. So these are just the same two colors? Same two colors. Yep. Okay. All right. I laid it flat because I don't want it to drip anymore. And I'm actually drying my brush off. And I'll, I'll put it up, I'm just going to go through there. And uh, I can see that I want a little uh, uh, lighter part right through here, so I'm just going to lift it. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Look how easy that was. And now I'm going to take and make a real uh, good dark. And I'm going to go across the top of this fork. It's too dry. And uh, there's a big sweep. <clears throat> sweeps. Ah. 
something to yeah. This is where, remember where we did uh, with the, uh, uh, the Kleenex before? Uh, I'm just gonna do it with uh, uh, this uh, thirsty brush. This is how I can uh, carve out some of these uh, uh, shapes. And I'm gonna run this thirsty brush right along the bottom. In fact, I think I'll just get the Kleenex and wipe it. Kind of cool. Now I've got a darker on this side than I do on this side. And I think that's going to dry out. Uh, okay, that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to take that dark uh, color that I had and a uh, smaller brush. I really like these two colors together. Uh, and I'm going to uh, just put a uh, some kind of a uh, seen in here and it's going to be a texture. There we go. I'm going to start, uh, I'm, even though this is really wet right here, I'm going to uh, start and put a uh, suggestion of some tools back here. Why yours is much less wet than mine. I'm not getting it. Yeah. Again, I'm concerned more about the value than I am the color. Did you I'm switch not... to burnt umber? No. You no, know. it's a combination of the two. Yeah. Uh, it looks it looks so burnt umber. Because when I put mine together, I get black. <clears throat> I'm switching back and forth between the cool and the warm. Uh, now I'm just adding a little uh, a cool over on the right side. Joe, did you wet the bottom third? No. Nope. 
all dry. Okay. You smell the texture here? Yeah, just, just wanted to check. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to paint the, exactly the same uh, scene on this side. First, I'm going to just re-wet the page. Could you please move your paper? Yeah, I'm going to re-wet the top two-thirds. Easy. You know, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but every time I <coughs> touch my <coughs> brush to the paper, it lifts up the paint. Uh, do it lightly. Yeah, even when I do it lightly, I think it's just too much water. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't get any, I can't get any paint on there. Well, keep... That's a good reason to be doing this and this size. Is there any pains on your brush? Any what? Pains. Pains? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm using the same uh, two colors and all of these. Really about the amount of water on your brush than anything else. Well, this is a really good way to learn all that stuff. I'm just going to soften these edges. A little water. That's done. I'm going to take my uh, neutral. Oh, that is so stupid of me. What can you get? What did you do? I'm painting the way Joe is painting. I'm left-handed, but I'm painting the way he's painting, and I didn't do it on the other one. I painted the correct way. <laughs> For me. It's so okay. Whatever happens during this, it's, it's uh, just uh, an Right, problem. I understand. Just mad with myself. Yeah. Oh, damn. I know it's too wet to do that, so I'll be back in a minute.
Okay. Two down. Two down. You can blot, you can scrape, you can do whatever you want to do to make these things the way you want. Again, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna just recap of this. crawl over it. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you still got ants? Yes. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I had them, but I got all these traps and they're gone now. I do too, but I think they decided the water for the plant is great. <laughs> I think it's time to call the exterminator. We have, twice. Well then call them back and tell them it didn't work. <laughs> Show and the, th the third one that you're working on now, yeah. Um, did you not wet it all over and you just wet the certain places where you just put the paint? Yeah. Oh, I'm, do I'm doing this exactly the same way I'm doing okay. all the time. Just a little bit differently. Uh, that's probably. <laughs> and I'm just trying to change up on my cool and warm bias. Blot. I'll blot a little bit.
I think these are great fun to do. I'm going to uh, wet this a little differently this time. I'm not going to wet it everywhere. Uh, watch me if you want. I'm going to take a, a medium sized brush and uh, I'm going to uh, kind of wet it in uh, some of my uh, cloud shapes. And then when I drop a color into it, I don't know whether it's going to be. Uh, soft or a harder edge. Kind of interesting, kind of fun.
Excuse me, eradicated boy. Once this is all done, I can go back and I can soften stuff. I can bring stuff up. I want to know how you got that such white areas on that one. It's just the, the paper. Well, you put a wash on first. No, I only put the wash down the top two thirds, remember? Yeah. But you still it, have a lot of white. Yeah, there's a lot of white right above those mountains. But the way it photographs is a lot of white. Uh, I'm not sure how it looks to it on screen. It seems to be okay. Well, maybe you put some white in there. I haven't done any white yet. Okay. I've just uh, I've just done those same two colors, uh, ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna, and I painted them similarly, similarly uh, but different, depending on, uh, they're very much painted the same way, they're very much painted the same way. And just doing these little exercises is, is fabulous for just learning the timing, what worked, what didn't. Oh, I found out that my crappy paper doesn't work. Yay. So we don't have to do that again. Yeah. I'm still working on it too. And it doesn't make any difference whether it was the ultramarine or the burnt sienna. It could have been indigo and sepia. It could have been... Uh, cobalt and raw sienna, or it could have been burnt umber and uh, 
uh, cerulean. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. It's just, uh, I'm just trying to do this with uh, two colors. That's all. <laughs> Big sigh. Boy, uh, you, my microphone must be really good because that wasn't that big of a sigh. <laughs> <laughs> but this is hard work. Yep. Well, you asked for it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> anyway, these are kind of different looks. One I blotted, one I dry brush. Uh, I used wet and wet, and I used, uh, I just uh, lifted a little bit, and uh, so now I can actually look at these and say, oh, okay, um, what do I need to do, or are these done? I've certainly learned a lot by... Uh, yeah, but there's so many techniques that you get confused. <laughs> Well, uh, this one, what we've been doing is, uh, I, I, I disagree with that if you're talking about this one, because I only blotted in one, and that was minimally, and okay. I re-wet the paper in one where I didn't wet the entire rectangle. Yeah, and, I understand. And those are the only two things that were a little different for just a slightly different look. I'm going to have to resort to some white. Well, uh, you're going to get, you're going to have a big uh, uh, head start on skies just by doing this exercise. I mean, the, just the timing. It doesn't have to be this sky, but uh, you've all painted the skies. You've seen the videos of what you can do, seven different ways, blah, blah, blah. I think my last one was the most successful. Mine too. That, see, that makes sense. It should be the most successful. You've uh, had a chance to uh, wind up and uh, try this several times and getting more confident with it. I'm gonna go get some uh, fresh water. Okay. I'm gonna get my lunch.
eso. Oops, I got my mask on. Okay, I'm looking at this and uh, saying, huh, <coughs> saying, huh, what can I do to this? Uh, so I'm going to add my third color. Although I don't think I have to add anything to any of these. But just for fun, because I said I would, I'm going to add a third uh, color and I'm going to use kind of a salmon. How about that? Oh, that orange looks pretty in there. Isn't that, that salmon color? Isn't that pretty? Yes. Look at that. So there's my third Gorgeous. Color. Oh, wow. Kind of cool. Okay, well, I got to try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's your, that is your burnt sienna? That's no. Yeah, that's burnt sienna and, and uh, ultramarine. No, I mean the bright orange area. No, I just added that my third color. Right in oh. here. Okay. That's a combination of cad red uh, light and uh, uh, Naples. Okay. I, I thought maybe that was your bird sienna there for a minute. No, I wanted a salmon y kind of color. Salmon. I'm going to put burnt, burnt orange in mine. Yes. I was going to add orange to the one next to it. So let's see what happens if I do that. Just for fun. So I'm going to add I know I'm not, because this one, I want to add something different. I'm going to add gamboge. And be ready to wipe some of it off. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to take a little white and use that. I'll put a little white right there. Push it a little bit.
press down and connect this just a little bit. Okay. This guy, I don't know. I like it the way it is. Joe, we can't quite see where you're working. Can? No. Yeah, I see the bottom one. Yeah. It yeah, I moved it because I'm done with this one. Okay. Yours are all going to be a different anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I moved it. Uh, I moved. I went from here, here to here, here. here. Okay. Oh wow. Anything there? Not sure that I do. I kind of like it the way it is. Well, I know what I'll use for my third card. Is how we're trying to do three colors. that kind of understated but there oh my goodness violet that lilac that what you put in that lilac color that color Stop it. I kind of like that glow. Yeah, they really did get better as you went along. From the, the difference from the first one to the last one was amazing. Yeah, that's why we do these. And it, and I'm convinced, like Gail said, it is the control of the water. Because mine just gets so soaking wet. Well, you're learning from that, aren't you? Pardon me? Yes, I am learning from that. 
about not to make it so wet. Yes. And you're learning about the timing of it. These are fun to take basically the same design and render it uh, multiple different ways with a very limited palette. So you don't have anywhere to hide. <laughs> anyway, um, I think they're great fun. <laughs>